everybody and welcome to totally trendy my name is sam and wait actually i just want to show you guys like the office because there's been a lot of change at the studio so we're finally getting there here's my desk and then this is going to be my little craft table and then we have the clouds still hanging up there little kitchen area and what what's that oh that's what we're doing today i know you guys saw those cakes over there and you're probably wondering oh what are we doing or you're not because you read the title of this video you guys know one of my coworkers. her name is Catherine, or you guys probably know her as rose and she got married like a little over a year ago which is crazy what's also crazy is that i wasn't invited before we like get too upset and salty <sighs> Kat and I barely knew each other when she got married so I was not personally offended when I wasn't invited to the wedding but that's not gonna stop me from making her still feel bad about it Tanner Woods Patrick, they were all there, but I wasn't. It's fine, I get it. I have noticed this money saving hack trend thing, not only in like the wedding community of Pinterest, YouTube, Instagram, etc. We all know that weddings are expensive. So this is a money saving hack that you can use for wedding cakes, birthday cakes, any cake you want. I am going to see today if I can take a store bought cake or cakes and transform them into like wedding level cake. You might be seeing the connection now about the story with Catherine. I'm gonna give her a wedding cake because I don't know what the other one looks like. This is one that I can be a part of. So let's go look at the cakes that we are gonna try to make and pass off as like a wedding cake. So we have this longer rectangle cake. I think it's like an inch tall. I don't know. And then I got one the same height but square. So my plan is is to cut this one almost like the same size of this, stack them on top of each other. I think I'm gonna do square tiers because apparently that's like how you know if someone is rich at a wedding is if the cake is really tall. We'll figure it out. But the great thing is that these cakes are already made and already iced. So I didn't realize that these would have so many sprinkles. Was not really accounting for that. I don't really want sprinkles on this wedding cake. So I think I'm just gonna to scrape them off because I already found things from Hobby Lobby that I want to decorate this with. So <laughs> this is all going to be on a budget. These were $10 each. I truly don't remember. It was pretty affordable though. All the videos I saw, they made it seem really simple. The goal of this video is to one, yeah, get a cake that looks actually really cool for like a wedding, birthday party, whatever, with as little steps as possible. I'm trying to do this as someone who like does not decorate cakes. I don't don't want to make this too complicated. I am gonna scrape off the sprinkles because that's just like not the vibe of this cake. Oh wow. Honestly, the sprinkles are scraping off pretty well. So now we have that huge thing of sprinkles icing. I've scraped most of it off of the sides and now my plan is to cover the sides with more just vanilla icing and then to smooth out this blue on top in kind of like an abstract form. You'll see what I'm talking about. I have covered the entire edge in white icing. Now I am Actually, I know I said I was just gonna smooth all of, oh, smooth all of this part out, but I realized I should probably put a part of this cake on top of this one first because I want it to kind of go in tiers. Seems like a decent plan, right? Okay, well, let's get to it. So that's about the size I'm going for like the first little chunk of this cake. Now, how will I measure this from like there to there? I I don't know. You would think like, oh, a ruler, a measuring tape. Well, guess what? I don't have either of those things. I am going to take one of these little cake boards. I'm gonna do it kind of like there. That line and then to like there. Was that an even square? I don't think so. So now this is kind of the amount that I'm gonna cut out of this cake. I'm just gonna set this on top like so and cut the cake. 
So before I put this on the other cake, I got these little wooden dowels just for $3 from the craft store. If you need to break a dowel like this, snap it in half, that's fine, but sand it down then. I picked up a nail file at the store and it sanded it down like perfectly because uh, yeah, you don't want people getting splinters from eating cake. So I'm gonna put these in kind of like the center of this cake. So I've officially stabbed the other cake. So now it is just time to transfer it over. I really hope this is all gonna be worth it. So far, this is pretty simple, but I want this to look as expensive as possible. Okay, just lifted the cake up. Oh, gonna kind of grab the underneath and it's all moist and wet. That's great. And I'm just going to drop it. Are they going through? There we go. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yay, we did it. We got a second tier on there. So now, obviously before I start decorating, I just wanna go ahead and make the other tiers. I am now going to kind of like cut off this end to make it even, and then probably take these two pieces and put it on top too. But let's just construct this, and I will see you guys next when I'm done constructing, so then we can get into the fun part, which is all of the decorating, and then finally giving Rose her wedding cake that, you know, I'm gonna get to be a part of. I know, it's not finished yet, trust me. This is the constructed cake. Now what I'm gonna do is just smooth all of this icing out, fill in all of these little gaps, ice all of it, and then when I see you guys next, it'll look so much better, trust me. Welcome back to day two of me messing with this cake. Now, I wanted to let the first little layer of icing really set. We call that the crumb coat. <laughs> then I came back today and I wanted to like smoothen it out, add like the final layer of icing and try to make it all white. It didn't work out. So we are just gonna cover our problems with fondant. Font fondant, fondant. I feel like anytime I say fondant in a video, everyone's like, oh my gosh, what? That's not how you say fondant. But we are just gonna cover this entire thing because it's like another just easy way to make everything look way more expensive. Like that's so smooth and pretty. So we're just gonna do this to all of the tiers. So I just finished um, covering it in fondant. Obviously didn't do this in the most even of ways, but this is where my true skills come in. I have a bunch of greenery and flowers and even some luster dust. If you don't know what luster dust is, it's essentially just edible dust. You'll see, it'll really elevate this, I think. Now we just need to kind of like try and hide this mess. It's time to give Kat her wedding cake. Guys, I think it turned out really good considering that this was originally two cakes from Walmart. I am going to get it set up in the kitchen and then have her come over. I'll tell her some lie to get her over here. It is all set. Look who it is. Hey, Kat. So I was just taking a trip down memory lane with all of the viewers talking about all the fun we've had here on Totally Trendy. I feel like there's a and, result coming. Well, <laughs> remember when I wasn't invited to your wedding? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I, no, like, I get it. Do you? I get it. We were Do not you? friends then. I know, uh, but I just like, you know, wasn't there. So I don't really know what everything looked in. like. Mm -hmm. And come with me. Sierra, do you know what's happening? Cause I'm like, I, I feel like I'm being it. pulled into I an escape room. I was invited to your wedding, so. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> that looks like there's a severed head. <laughs> what is it? Is it a cat? Did you get me a? Sam, did you make that? I did. It's a wedding cake Dude. for you. This is actually two cakes from Walmart cut and stacked on top of each other. You know wedding cakes can be really expensive. Birthday cakes can be really expensive. Yeah. The total of this was 50 bucks. I wish I invited to my wedding now. Yeah, <laughs> don't you? You could have had this. Well, enjoy your cake. Thank you. That's your really late wedding gift. 
So there you have it. You definitely can turn a store-bought cake into something a little more fancy. Obviously, it'll take a little bit more time and dedication, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it's really cute, really Pinteresty, and grand total was only 50 bucks. And that's a lot less expensive than getting like a custom-made birthday cake or wedding cake for sure. I highly recommend trying this. If you do, tag me in Instagram at high five totally trendy so I can see it. I'll like it. I'll maybe repost it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.